Hey folks, Jonathan again. I uh, just wanted to show you, I went ahead and uh, drilled and tapped a quarter inch and put me a valve on it. I've had that valve for a long time and uh, sort of like it. So we put that on it and what I'm gonna do, I never did like that hole going down into that that brass in the front. So we're gonna, we're gonna weld that hole up, grind it off and we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, you know, the, where the hole goes through. And uh, we'll just weld it up, grind it off, and make it like it ain't never been there. And uh, just go back with eight bolts. I'm sure that's going to hold it. Uh, the uh, I, I wanted to try out a adjustable valve on it instead of using a regulator, and and uh, we'll see how that goes. I think that'll work out good. I checked it, and it's a good valve. And not sure where I got it. Just uh, something I had laying around. I'm going to get this apart, get it cleaned up, and then I will show you more as I go okay folks we're fixing to go sandblast this thing and I just want to show you what I done I, I took a bolt and two washers and uh, put through there and just snuck it down enough to where I can keep the sand out of that cylinder and that copper cylinder I didn't want to I didn't want to get no you know sanded sandblasted in there but uh, that's what she looks like we're going to get the port inside and get inside these ports good but uh show you more when we're done okay folks we got it cleaned up here and i just sandblasted inside the ports and stuff and you know we wasn't too worried about the paint on the outside and a uh, little change in plans i think i'm gonna make me two plugs that go in here that are drilled in the bolts countersink and to bolt in each side or with one bolt and that'll take up a whole lot of the space and then we may pour the lead in from the top side I even thought about JB weld but we might do lead and uh, you know this will cap it off for sure that way we don't have to worry about any leaks and uh, we'll try to make it as tall as we can make it and as big around as we can make it to fill up as much space as we can and then uh, and then I'll leave us less to fill I think it'll work out good. Then we won't have to worry about filling the other side because it won't be going through the port. So, luckily, uh, I went over to a buddy of mine that is a machinist that uh, to use his sandblaster real quick, and and he gave me that idea. So, I think that'll work out real good. Uh, we'll get at it here and see if we can get them made and get some uh, lead poured and go from there. All right, folks. If anybody knows anything good for crickets. Let me know, they're driving me crazy. I'm gonna dynamite this place if I have to. Okay folks, I'm just gonna show you what I did here. Uh, the recess inside, uh, inside of here, it's recessed down. This actually comes up, this cross. So I had to, uh, what I did was machine out this piece, and that sits down in the bottom, and then uh, that sits in the top. And it actually slides right down in there and closes that off. And it's down far enough that I can still put my cap. I can still put my cap right on it here. And uh, so that'll be no problem. So this will get bolted in. Uh, quarter inch, 20 bolts. And then uh, our strap. Uh, these will get put on the caps, and then our strap will go across. And that uh, that leaves me. Uh, you know, it closes up a lot of the area in there, so it's going to work out really good. But uh, I'll figure out how I'm going to, you know, seal whether I'm going to make gaskets for the bottom or water of this, and then I've got to make new gaskets for here. Uh, I think if I make a, a good gasket and and put it on the bottom side down here, that it, uh, you know, that lead not going to hurt it uh, as long as it's squished in there, and. Uh, I think that's uh I think that'll work. I mean I, I even thought about JB welding in there, but uh I really want to try the lead just to be trying it. And uh you know it ought to stick to this uh this steel pretty good I'd hope. And uh we're gonna make one more here real quick and then uh we'll get it on there and uh probably make the gaskets for this on the inside, get them on, and then uh we will uh end up you know, preheating this, preheating the, and then heating up the lead and and pouring it in there and just see what happens. 
And uh, as long as I don't change my mind and decide to go with JB Weld, but you know, I, I sort of like the lead idea, but we'll uh, we'll work through it here. And the cricket finally quit. Thank goodness. I think there was two of them. Up. Oh, shouldn't have spoke. I just wanted to uh, show you a little tip on this. Uh, what I use, I've been using for years. Uh, I use a little just a small arbor press to punch the holes out. I don't hit them with a hammer, but you can still use a hammer on these. Uh, spent cartridges, uh, all different sizes, you know, for different holes. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, I save, uh, save a bunch of them and then just use them, push this right through a gasket, no problem. And uh, get, you know, a good clean hole. I know they make punch sets for this, but, you know, I've never, even considered buying one because I've used these for so long but but anyway works really good and I use uh, use this I think well it's like a I ain't gonna say it's an asbestos gasket it's a paper gasket but uh, uh, it's probably thirty thousand thick maybe Okay, another pour there. Casting's still a little bit hot. I filmed it up in the oven. I didn't want to put it over the flame there. But uh, you can see a little bit leak through when we poured it when I had to, I took the caps back off. But uh, this side don't look too bad at all. Uh, I think we can dig it out of there, machine it out a little bit and get it out. This side I got a little more in, but I don't, I don't think that's a problem either. I think we can get all that out and we'll uh, see if we can get the washers out and see what she looks like. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, here's where we're at. I got it, uh, got the washer out and got it cleaned up some and absolutely surprised and impressed with the way it went in there. Uh, didn't want to come out, the washer didn't want to come out real easy, but once we got it ground down far enough, we was able to get it out and grind it some. Got a little bit more to do there. And then uh, this is the side that I over poured a little too much. But, and here's the other side, and I hadn't finished grinding it yet. But Okay, folks, we got two more gaskets here to make. Our top one and then our top plate. And we got a hole here to plug off. And we're just gonna see what it'll do. I'm not gonna. Uh, I, I'm not gonna drill these yet. They're gonna, you know, couldn't need to be done before we run it much. But I just want to see if we can uh, get it to do anything at all here. Uh, you know, usually when you do something like this, it takes quite a bit to get it. You know, all the fine tuning done and you know, get it the way you want it. But you know, nothing ever just starts up and runs perfect. So we'll. Uh, 
we'll get them two gaskets made and uh, get that top on there and check her out and see what she does.